Hey everyone, today I have a video on what I learned whilst developing and publishing an Entra game over two days. First of all, why did I go through this? Why make a game in two days? Well, it's not very logical, but being the end of the month, I thought I'd do something epic and make a game and publish it within a day. Of course, it's never that simple, and it extended to two days, but hey, that's still pretty good. Also, whilst not super complex, the graphics are nice and the gameplay is quite fun. I got to learn how, to, how the accelerometer works, which was a great experience, and it gave me an idea for another mobile game which I want to develop as soon as possible. Now I don't recommend developing games in such a small amount of time. I did this because I had free time and wanted to test myself. Games should take longer and have way more testing before being released. Now here are the three things I want to share with you which apply to projects of any length and of course focus on indie developers. The first point is that project scope is king. I scaled this project with my skill level and what I'd be able to achieve in a day. The game itself was super simple and developed in a matter of hours. What took time was the bit of polish I did and the massive time sink which was integrating Google Play services. For those who don't know, Google Play Services gives you access to achievements, leaderboards on the Play Store, which are pretty much vital to any game. So when you plan your project scope, don't underestimate the time it takes to implement the Google Play Services, or the Steam services, any type of services that are required for your game. This was my third time making a mobile game, so I have some experience using it. I would strongly recommend developing the core of your game, integrating any services that are required, and starting a closed alpha test within the first or second week of development. This way your game has a strong foundation moving forward and you've done a massive chunk of that draining work allowing the team to focus on fun things such as adding new features or polishing the game. The second point is starting without overthinking the project. I've spent a lot of time in the past planning out the perfect project. What you'll notice is that I don't have any perfect projects. All of them died on the paper. You know what I believe is better than a design document? A prototype. Now I know. Big teams, big games. They do require game design documents. And if you're But if you're watching my channel, you're most likely an indie developer, a small team working on a smaller scope project. If you are, don't drown in documents. Start development as soon as possible and see if the game's fun through testing. I'm a big fan of iterative development, allowing the project to evolve as you develop it and being able to adapt to change. The most important thing to remember is that overthinking can hinder your progress, whilst underthinking could undermine your project, so find a happy in-between and move forward. The last point is to take inspiration from anywhere. Don't just stick to what you know. If I did that, I'd never get anything done. The concept of everything being a remix is fantastic. Go research it, learn from it, and try it out. This game is a remix of other mobile games I've been inspired by. If I never took inspiration from other projects, I would have been stuck designing the game rather than making it. Thanks so much for watching everyone. I'll leave you with some gameplay of the final product. Make sure to check out the game as well. The trailer should be up soon, and I'll leave a download link to the game below.